you'll find controls on the back of your left hand and can optionally pin them in a convenient position. You can browse the library of existing animations and preview them with the play button. Animations are made up from frames and you can use the controls to skip through them or jump to the first or last one. You can create new animations or clone an existing one as a starting point. Let's create a new animation. We start with the default frame, but we can replace this by copying a frame from our library. We can add more frames before or after the current frame and reorder frames. Let's add a new frame after this one. It starts off blank, so most of the time you'll want to copy and paste the previous frame and then make changes to it. Now I'll add a third frame. This time I'll move to the first frame copy it, then move back to my third frame and paste to create a duplicate of frame 1. Here's the animation so far. On the frame details tab you can quickly make changes that affect every voxel in a frame, including setting the range of colours, the amount of space between them, and whether they should rotate, pulsate or jump to the music by default. If you use one of these defaults it's a good idea to give them some space so that they don't overlap. Move voxels by simply dragging and dropping within the red frame. Thumbsticks can be used to move the animation and change its height while you're working on it. Click edit mode for more control over your editing. You can change the size and shape of your cursor to work on multiple voxels at once. While dragging you can rotate your hand to rotate the grabbed voxels. Voxels respond to music. The frequency they respond to is controlled by their colour. Blue voxels like low frequencies, yellow like high. In painting mode you can change the colour of voxels and set the amplitude that their frequency has to reach before they respond. Setting the auto increment value lets you create a gradient. To do this set your amplitude low and click and drag your cursor over a number of voxels. Every time the cursor moves onto a new voxel the amplitude value increases giving you an effect like a graphic equaliser. The Frame Details tab lets you set the default voxel behaviour, but you can override those settings in edit mode using the Paint Behaviour mode. Select the required behaviour and then simply paint the voxels. Changing the transition speed of voxels can make a big difference to your animations, so it's worth spending some time experimenting with this feature. A warp effect makes the voxels change shape in time to the music. It's good to use if you're showing a frame for a longer period of time. Click anywhere within the red frame to set the origin, and then set the strength of the effect and the frequency that makes the effect occur. You'll only see the warp effect when in this edit mode, or when animating. Tagging allows you to mark voxels and easily see where they move to on each frame. 
you can also copy tagged voxels between frames, which is really useful when you're improving a complex animation. Tag voxels that you're interested in. Then make sure you're on the frame that has the desired arrangement and click Set Source Frame. Now navigate to the frames you want to have the same arrangement and click Paste. You can also paste to all previous or all future frames too. Remember to clear the tags when you're done. On the Frame Transition tab, you can set how long each frame is shown for and then how long it takes to morph into the next frame. Note that voxels move at different speeds. If you have a one second transition, the fastest will arrive in a fifth of that time, but the slowest will take a full one second. Remember that in edit mode you can paint the speed of each voxel. You can also create loops in your animation. So here I'll jump back one frame and I'll repeat this loop three times before continuing to the next frame. Let's take a look. To share an animation, simply copy the single file shown in the library. To use someone else's design, copy their file to the same directory where your files live. The video button helps you make the best quality video of your animation. If you'd like to see your design in my upcoming games, send them to me. If your design is selected, you'll get a free copy of the game it's used in and a mention in the credits.